a funeral for the latest victims, two Spanish Civil Guard officers killed by a bomb under their car on the packed holiday island of Mallorca. Fifty years after it was founded and no closer to Basque independence, ETA is still fighting. I express today the feeling of all citizens. I want to condemn this villainy with a lot of pain, with a lot of anger. Arnaldo Otegi is the closest one gets to an ETA spokesman. He represents the collective Basque independence movement, some of whose political parties have been banned for refusing to condemn ETA violence. And he refuses to condemn this week's attacks. Events like yesterday in Burgos confirm the history of the past 50 years. ETA on one side and the state on the other locked in a cycle of permanent confrontation with repression followed by response and no democratic solution in sight. Established in 1959 to support Basque independence in the face of repression by the Franco regime, a frustrated ETA turned to violence nine years later. Since then, over 800 people have been killed, hundreds of ETA members imprisoned, and sporadic negotiations have failed. ETA insists the state carries out violence of its own, allegedly torturing prisoners, denying the Basque people their freedom. Yulen Madriaga was a founding member. Imprisoned in France in the 80s, he claims no longer to be a part of ETA, and he is measured on the use of violence. A few years ago, I became opposed to the use of violence by ETA, not because of moral reasons, but for political reasons. From the early 1990s, ETA's use of violence as a weapon began to turn against the interests of the Basque people. The violence was alienating fellow Basques. Recent polls put public support for independence at around one in four. Yet Otegi, Madriaga and those who regularly attend gatherings like this, protesting the treatment of ETA prisoners, all remain true to the goal, self-governance for the Basque regions of Spain and southwestern France. Perhaps the central contradiction about ETA's method is that the campaign of violence, among other things, seems to have reduced support amongst the Basques for independence to a very small minority. Viewed in that light, ETA's continued objective is hard to fathom. What does seem likely is that there'll be more ETA prisoners, but also more violence. Some had written ETA off after a string of high-profile arrests among its hierarchy, but a hard core clearly remains. With little sign of Spain's socialist government acceding to ETA's demands, 41 years of violence could yet be followed by many more. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Bilbao, Northern Spain.